Hi, I'm Nicholas Yeo, Head of Equities, China. China has the world's second largest economy and second largest stock market with a market capitalization above 10 trillion US dollars. Yet, A shares account for just 0.6% of the MSCI All Countries World Index. In the past, China's onshore equity market was hard for global investors to access, but it has opened up and liberalized considerably in recent years. To highlight, China's world-leading equities rally in 2020 was driven by both domestic and foreign investors. Since 2014, A shares have attracted over 180 billion US dollars in net inflows from overseas. The various long-term structural growth teams we are positioning in for the future, these include spending switch, companies benefiting from changes in work and consumption patterns which has accelerated since the outbreak of COVID-19. This includes plays on cloud computing, high-end food and beverage, cybersecurity, and online deliveries. Next, health and wellness. Rising disposable incomes are driving demand for healthcare products and services. The opportunity set is diverse. Our holdings include a leading hospital, a medical equipment maker, and a contract research provider. Insurance. Chinese insurers are improving their product mix towards life insurance and away from saving products. Life insurance is underpenetrated, which bodes well for future growth in premiums. Finally, going green. Policymakers globally are committing to a greener and lower carbon world, and China is in the driver's seat. Plays on renewable energy, batteries, electric vehicles, and related infrastructure all have a bright future. Renewable energy production in China is now as low cost as fossil fuels, so this grid parity will be game changing. Chinese firms are already global leaders in the renewable supply chain. China is responsible for 91% of silicon wafer production to harness solar energy. The country also makes up 78% of global battery making capacity. China is thus well placed to deliver on its own ambitions to be carbon neutral by 2060. While the Chinese equity market is not as cheap as 12 months ago, investors can still find relative value. With a forward price to earnings ratio of 17 times, and this is based on 2021 earnings forecasts, the MSCI China A onshore index is trading above its historical average. However, it remains at a 40% discount to the S&P 500 on a price to book basis and is 23% cheaper on a price-to-earnings basis. It remains cheaper than the rest of emerging Asia on a price-to-book basis as well. MSCI China A onshore was the only major global equity index to record positive earnings growth in 2020. For 2021, consensus forecasts are for strong double-digit earnings growth for Chinese equities. So valuations appear well supported.